Epidemiologists need to be curious people, concerned about understanding what causes disease. It studies all those factors that influence our health and our well-being. We actually train the students to do science and to do research. The PhD program at UB is definitely intellectually challenging. As you know from your literature right. review, right, how many kids die from diarrhea every year? It's about 1.8 million. million. I've been working with Dr. Pavani Ram. In Kenya, a lot of children get sick and die from diarrheal disease. So there is a solution we call oral rehydration therapy that rehydrates the child when they have diarrhea. So we were working on ways that we can promote the use of oral rehydration therapy. It's really rewarding to think that maybe the work that we're doing may save some children's lives down the road. We have all kinds of, of research going on in the department. There are people doing work in infectious disease. We have people working on chronic disease, on cancer, on eye disease. We have other people who are interested in the environmental effects and how the environment impacts health. As we know, uh, consuming fish is a healthy idea. Um, but there is still some concern about consuming polluted fish. I'm currently involved in a research project investigating Great Lakes fishermen and health outcomes associated with the fish they eat. My sense is that if I got up here and I lectured on each of these topics, you'd learn something. But if you have to go do it, you're going to learn twice as much. The highlight of my experience so far in the department has been the interaction with the faculty and the students and getting to participate in a wide variety of projects. In our department, we have a biological specimen bank, which contains samples that have been collected over the last couple of decades. The reason that we keep the samples is so that we will be able to answer questions in the future with that same materials that we aren't even able to conceive of at this point. So any other cancers in your family besides that you can think of? Well, your mother should have two. She's got three. No one had ever conducted this family study in African-American women before to try to find genes for breast cancer. The idea for the study came directly from this local family and I actually get to work with these women who are breast cancer survivors who have actually been touched by the disease. If we are successful, it's going to spawn all kinds of new research. We could find better treatments, better detection methods for these women that has definitely a direct impact on them down the road. Well, this is a very exciting time in epidemiology. There's so much happening. I think that it's a great opportunity for students to come to Buffalo and, and to be part of that energy.